بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله اللهم اجعل جمعنا هذا جمعا مرحوما والتفرق بعده تفرق معصوما in the name of Allah سبحانه وتعالى the most compassion the most merciful all praise and thanks and due to him and peace and blessings be upon his beloved Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته we continue with Gary Miller the whole idea, Gary Miller was a professor of mathematics in Toronto about 40 years ago. He was a mathematician and at the same time he was an active missionary in the Christian church. He was looking for mistakes in the Quran, in the scientific aspect and the historical aspect. He could not find anything. He ended up himself reverting to Islam. We mentioned that many times. So I was highlighting, I was, uh, brothers in the back, please, brothers in the back, الإخوة في الخلف ممكن تتصدقوا علينا بموضوع الصوت. Please, if you can, please, جزاكم الله خير. Thank you. Okay. Tamam. What I was saying. He reverted back to Islam. He reverted back, yes. He reverted back to Islam. I was highlighting one of or some of the things that astonished him. The goal from my point of view basically just to give you like an empowerment for yourself, for your kids when you speak about how genuine Islam is and Islam is the religion of the truth. So it's one of the ways how you yourself to feel this kind of feel of certainty if not for you, for your kids, for the youth because they are exposed to a lot of attacks from the materialistic, from liberal, from secular, from whatever. You know, in the media now, the social media basically, where now we, five years ago, we used to joke to say, when we used to say the generation of TikTok. Now, literally, literally, there is a generation of TikTok. They know nothing except dancing, except sometimes exposing their bodies, and just having campus, 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 and having money, and that's it. Nothing else, nothing else, generation. They don't think about how to study or how to achieve something, just take talk and that's it. So you don't know what kind of dangerous things they are exposed to. Anyway, today I will highlight one of the points that he was astonished with, which is Surat Al-Masad. Surat Al-Masad, tabbat yada abi look now, put yourself in his shoes now. He's a Christian, a mathematician, looking for mistakes in the Quran. Because, as I told you, for him, under the umbrella of Orientalists and some missionary groups, for hundreds of years, Muhammad وسلم, was portrayed as a liar, or a crazy, or both. <laughs> okay? And, or a genius person who wanted to gather Arabs around him. So either or, it depends on the lie that the author decided to use. Now, under this, in, this is in his back mind, he was researching. So he came across Surah Al-Masr. Tabbat yada abi lahab wa tab, ma aghna anhu maluhu wa ma kasab. Sayasla naran dhata lahab wa mraatuhu hammalat al-hatab fi jidiha hablum al-masad. Look now. This surah chapter is talking about direct uncle of Prophet Muhammad. The direct brother of his father, Abu Lahab. In this ayah, the Quran says that Abu Lahab will be reside in the hellfire and he will be facing a severe punishment in hellfire, which means it's a final judgment that he will be an unbeliever, a hatred of Islam, and he will die as such. Now, Gary Miller was reading. When this ayah or chapter was revealed, compared, and he was astonished when he knew that Abu Lahab passed away after the revelation of this chapter of 10 years, which means Abu Lahab was aware, and he heard it hundreds of times, recited it, and he knew about it 10 years. Gary Miller, as a mathematician, common sense said, look, if I were Abu Lahab, what do I need more than one day to claim I'm a Muslim, hypocritically, to destroy Islam? One day. By the way, 
if Abu Lahab hypocritically, he was lying, and came and said, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, what will happen with the Quran? Collapse. So he was thinking, who is that crazy on earth if he's a liar, will put himself in this challenge? <laughs> Imagine just to, to, to make it easy for the youth. I, I will use Dr. Yasser as an example, by the way. Imagine that, well, I have Allah, God forbid, I'm claiming that I know the future for sure. In front of you, I'm trying to scare you. Okay? Allah? <clears throat> so imagine that I'm imagine that I'm claiming that I know the future for sure. I'm trying to you know to attack you on to, or to spread the fear in your hearts. And I was challenging Dr. Yasser. I said, Dr. to show my power, I said Dr. Yasser. Definitely, for certainty, it's impossible for you for the coming 10 years to be able to speak Chinese. But what if Dr. Yasser decided <laughs> to learn Chinese just in one year and he came here next year speaking Chinese? What will happen to me? I'm lost. I mean, am I crazy to put this silly challenge? To challenge with something doable in a second or in a minute or in a weeks? Why should I? Am I crazy? Maybe I can't challenge it. For example, I can't challenge him, Dr. Yasser. I challenge you for the coming 10 years, you will not be able to reach the moon. Even though this is possible. Maybe he will become a close friend to Elon Musk. We never know. Maybe he will become a multimillionaire, inshallah, to donate for the masjid, inshallah. <laughs> and he will become a close friend as a multimillionaire for Elon Musk, SpaceX. <laughs> to keep to one million, it's nothing. Maybe he will go to the moon and he will make a selfie. I says, selfie will art khalfi. <laughs> maybe, I mean, it's possible. Even though it's maybe one million percent, but it's possible, still, it's possible. Do a bill in five, 10 years, yes, to go to the moon. <laughs> okay, I will go with him, inshallah. <laughs> but the idea, am I crazy if I'm a liar to put a challenge that is doable in a second? <laughs> so. If Muhammad Sallallahu was creating the Quran, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you what used the processing system of Gary Miller now. I'm speaking on his behalf now. He was thinking, "Tabbat yada Abu Lahab wa ta ma aghna anhu." He's in the fire. Okay, Abu Lahab decided to destroy Islam. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Finito. Islam is finished. But this did not happen. You know why? Because. The one who revealed is Allah, and Allah knows for sure that Abu Lahab's level of hatred will not enable him even to say it for the sake of lying. He can't. Ten years, you will not believe. Yes, and he did not believe. <laughs> and he passed away as a kafir. I will give you another simple example about the truth of Islam from the viewpoint of a non-believer, an external person who was looking at our religion as someone who wants to destroy it, then he became himself a devout follower of this great religion. And by the way, I'm just talking about one person. You can go and read about Murad Hoffman. Murad Hoffman. You can go and read about Yusuf SS. You can go and read about Cat Stephen or Yusuf Islam. We have tens of big celebrities, no? Musicians, scientists, scholars, and uh, the mathematician in Chicago that I read up about him, I forget his name. Jeffrey Lang. Jeffrey Go and read about Jeffrey Lang. Everyone has a unique story, but very powerful. And this is the greatest of Islam. When you see who revert to Islam, they are the top elites. You know, because when you think, you become a Muslim. Alhamdulillah ala ni'mat al-Islam. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.